Hi folks, welcome to a very windy episode of the Wider Channel. We've got a uh, weather system to the north of us that uh, is going to be pumping out some rain. The weather system to the north of us and even a little bit right there, I can see that rain right there. Not going to bother us much, we're headed south to a friend of mine's house to look at the paint on the spider. My good friend Dave is a body shop guy, very talented body shop guy. I've gotten all kinds of different suggestions on what I should do to bring back the shine on this paint. The one that I uh, was going to try myself is a clay bar, but I had the bright idea of calling Dave. And there goes a Riker. I wonder if I can catch him. It's a nice looking Riker. Ah, that was pretty cool. It's just such a rare sighting around uh, around here to see a Riker or a spider. Although I have seen a couple of spiders for sale in our area, uh, about a half hour north of us, uh, over the last couple of months, there's been two of them uh, on my way up to the camper. So. One was an F3 and one was a RT. But I'm not so sure that the folks around here know what they're worth anymore. I, I watch the prices on them every single day just in case uh, somebody's posting a broken one that I can find to, to do the next repair job. And the folks that have posted them for sale around here, the, the couple of them that were were for sale on the way up to the camper, were probably about $2,000 a piece over what they're going for. Now, I have to admit the one uh, was a 2017 and it did only have 2,600 miles on it. 2,600 miles on a 2017. Uh, it looked showroom new. I, I'm not so sure that would have been a good buy. Uh, or was a good thing that it had such low miles on it. Because... These things have to be run. They, they can't just be started up every year. You, you, there was a Sean Smokes episode, uh, the Smokes Vlogs, where he was talking about having to take these things for a ride and get them warmed up and lubricated. And that uh, at least 10 miles is recommended for getting the engine warmed up and all the, the oil running through it. and. So I don't know that 2,600 miles in, uh, in what, eight years is enough. But anyway, back to what I was saying before I saw the Riker and had to chase him down and give him a wave because crazy like that. My buddy Dave is a very talented body shop guy. And I said, hey, Dave, what do you think about me bringing the spider to your house and you show me how to fix this paint? Or he agreed that that was a, 
a good way to do it. So here I am all camered up and headed out to Dave's house. A little uh, backstory on Dave. Dave's a firefighter. He's been doing it for a while and we have very similar interests. He camps up uh, with us. He camps right next door to us, as a matter of fact. So we usually get into conversations about cars and snowmobiles and motorcycles and all the things you, that us gearheads talk about around campfires. Now we just got to get Dave on board with uh, his own spider so we can do some riding together. It is a very, very gusty, windy day. I don't know if uh, it translates well in the, the wind slap in the helmet. If it's going to be heard much on the microphone or not, but it is a very gusty day. I am starting to think that this needs new shocks. And I'm wondering if that's visible. Probably not. It almost feels like the bumps, I'm losing contact with the road, and if I take off real hard from a light and it's got a few bumps, I'll spin the tire. Feels like it jumps right off the ground and then it hits really hard when it does touch the pavement again. So I think shocks are the remedy to that. Add that to the ever-growing list of things to repair on this spider. All our weather is going to stay to the north. And from what I saw on the radar, it will hit the house, but it looks like by the time I'm done working with Dave on this paint, we'll be in good shape to go home. Maybe deal with a couple puddles here and there, but that's about it. Perfect.
But now in the daylight, I get to see the spider in its full glory after Dave did all of his hard work on it. I am very surprised at how well this turned out. Taking that cloudy layer off the, the top to reveal the paint looking amazing. I am very, very happy with the results. Having the hood cleaned up as well as it did, I am now comfortable with the reveal in the name of the spider that I have decided to give it. This spider I am going to call the Phoenix since it has come back from death, the spider was dead. There was no life in it, and it now has a new life. It has risen from the ashes, so to speak, so I'll be calling it the Phoenix. Let me know in the comments what you think of the name. And let me know in the comments also what you think uh, of the amazing job that Dave did. Show Dave some love for this. I always get a kick when Dave's son comes up and wants to talk about my last episode. And I think he did a really, really good job as my cameraman for this he wanted to uh, I, I gave him the opportunity there to hold the camera for a little bit and he took on the challenge thought that was a pretty cool thing to do so we'll give him some credit in the in the video here for being the shot taker certainly was nice hanging out with the guys for the evening yesterday while they cleaned her up for me. I will tell you that just my little trial that I, I tried on the, the left side of the hood, I burnt the paint and it is where, where I burnt it, it is not repairable. So I have a nice little scar to remind me that this is definitely something that I would leave to the professionals. Um, people like Dave, who's done this for many, many years, I don't think I would do, I, I, I know that I would never do that myself uh, after even just my little trial of it. It is something that you you can and will permanently damage your paint. So leave it to the professionals. So that's all I got for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give me that thumbs up. If you're enjoying the episodes I'm putting out on the wider channel, Just, uh, if you would, consider subscribing to the channel. That is all I have for today's episode, so hopefully I'll see you on the next one.